start with an idea, uh, um, but it's not fully fleshed out. So an idea, and maybe it's, I want to work with these colors, or maybe I have a, an idea I'm, I want to work with, and, um, or maybe uh, it's just, you know, a feeling. And at that point, I'll, you know, start pulling fabrics out and cutting them into strips and, and working with them and putting them together. And as I put them together, it might change. You know, my idea might change. I want to do something else or it leads me down another path. So I think my work is very process driven. Um, so what I do leads into what I do next. And there's not always a real plan for what it's going to look on look like at the final outcome. Because if you know what it's going to look like, there's really not much fun doing it. So I'd rather be surprised. It's a little different, not terribly different because it doesn't, it's not representational. I don't do representational work. So uh, you're not going to see uh, like, you know, a picture of a face or um, mountains or trees, not, not usually anyhow. Um, usually I, I work with lines and I like the interplay of how lines relate to each other, um, lines and squares and, and circles. So it's like the elements of, of design come together and I, I play with them and, you know, and, the, and then the color. And the texture, the texture is important. Uh, I think texture is the one thing that really draws me to quilting because you can't get that kind of texture in a painting. I really like the piece that is in Ebb and, Ebb and Flow. It's, uh, you know, like I say, it's not, it's not my normal kind of work, but it's not, it's not representational either, but it, you know, you can look at it and yeah, you get the idea. Now I'm counting. Something is, is, has happened or will happen or I am you know, want to follow something or keep track of something. So uh, I think the idea behind it is much more uh, um, obvious to the, to the viewer.